We're here at NAB 2013 and I'm with John Chappelle from Digital Rebellion and we're going to be taking a look at his post-production tool. NAB is brought to you by XFX. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from industrialrevolution.com. Okay, John, can you show us what we what we have running here? Yeah, well, here we have cut notes, and uh, this is version 2.0, which is a significant overhaul of the app. What we've done is we've listened to a lot of customer feedback, and um, we've uh, darkened the UI so it's a lot better um, in a screening room uh, with the lights out. Um, we've got button sets that you can flick through. So you can, you can create different buttons for different purposes. So you can have uh, sets for mixing, sets for grading, sets for editing, anything you like. And um, what Cut Notes is really good for is for saving time during a screening. Because, um, you know, I've always found myself, um, you're sitting in a screening room, you've got um, the time code overlay, and then you've got to write down all the time code, yeah. and then the notes, yeah. and then you look up and two minutes have gone past. Yeah. And so Cut Notes is really cool because it syncs up with the time code in a lot of common applications. Final Cut Pro 6 and 7, Final Cut Pro 10, Pro Tools, Adobe Audition, Adobe Premiere. And so um, it's automatically synced to the time code. So all you do is there are preset buttons for certain tasks, for common things you want to do. So you can just press the button and it saves a note um, for that task. And if you want to make something more complicated, then you can just press the keyboard button and type um, your own note, like change shots. And you can really take your time um, writing it because uh, it will log the, um, the time that you first started typing. So um, no matter how long it takes you to type it, it will automatically insert it there. So rather than being kind of like five seconds behind, right. look at the code, look down, right. it's in the dark, right. got to get the code, write right. it down, what was it, and then right. it's five seconds off. The moment, right. the moment you hit it, it, right. it, it, it instantly marks that, right. that code. And um, in some applications, um, depending on support, you can also control it and pause it. Um, and rewind, etc., uh, actually directly on the device, which is very useful. Um, and you can uh, view your notes, uh, go back to them, edit them, delete them very easily, and then you can export them to a range of formats. And um, if you want to get them into Final Cut Pro 10, then it's pretty easy. We've got um, an additional tool on our website that's free to download that'll do that. So when I bring that back into Final Cut Pro 10, yeah. how does it appear? Does because obviously I've got my cut sequence. Does it appear yeah. as a, a new sequence with yeah with, with markers on it? Yeah, it creates um, a duplicate of the sequence right. um, with markers. So I've got my original, and then I yeah. can just look at the new one, yeah. and then go go and flick between the markers yeah, and have that's a look right. at those. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't have to match it back up to anything. No, no. Okay. So it's pretty, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And um, you can also, if you're sending the notes to someone else, you can very easily um, uh, just export them as plain text, uh, upload them to Dropbox, send them via email, you know, whatever works best for your workflow. Okay, brilliant. And that standalone app, that's how much? That is $12.99 on $12 .99 the App Store. $12.99 on the App Store? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then it gets a bit more interesting. Yes, because um, we have our own cloud platform called Collaborate. And um, what this is, is um, it's got a whole range of features. Um, a lot of people are going to use it for um, sharing videos. So uh, handing things off to clients and getting notes back, um, sending deliverables to someone. One. These are all common uses, but it's a bit more sophisticated yeah, than that. Th these days, I do a lot of work where the client's 100 miles away or whatever, right. because the, the, the remote editing is, is, right. is very common these days. Right. Yeah, right. Um, you know, rather than people turn up to see you, they'll just give you right. the media, a few things, say, get on with it, and then right. send me a version, and then I'll tell you the changes. It's got a full file system in there, so you can order, organize things by folders, move things around very easily. Um, and it's also got um, a lot of task management features built in um, and um, lots of things for uh, team management. So it's it's very useful uh, on large projects where you've got a whole range of people because you can group people into departments and then each department has their own private storage area. Um, people aren't getting bombarded with alerts for the entire project. I was going to ask about security because yeah. there's obviously people who make stuff that's a bit sensitive. Yeah. 
not everybody can see what's online. Whereas, right, where right, some people private. might just put something on an FTP server right. or even right. YouTube or, right. or Vimeo and say, right. that's not going to happen. Um, right. This is all secure. Right. They'll get a link or send a yeah. link that, that yeah. they'll go on to. And yeah, you can um, assign tasks as well. And um, what's cool is that you can actually, um, as you create a comment on a video, you can automatically turn it into a task. Right. So if the task, if the comment was um, change this shot, you can change it into a task. Um, other people on the project get alerted, and um, they can begin doing that task before you've even finished watching. Right. Okay. And then, and then they can mark it complete when it's done. Cross it off the list. I think really where Collaborate differs from other services is in the app integration because you can press the buttons here and they'll appear instantly um, in the comment stream on the side right. as you press it. And um, there are also um, several other options people have asked for. Um, you can make comments in the interface and as you type, it will automatically pause. It'll tell you it's inserting it right. there. Collaborate service, how much is it going to cost me to, to, to run? Well, it, it really depends on what you need. If you're a freelancer, we're doing a special offer right now. Um, you can get it, if you order a year in advance, um, you can get it for $15 a month. Um, and that gives you two, gigs, two gigabytes of storage space and up to five users. Um, if you want something a little more sophisticated, you can go up to five gigs um, of storage with 15 users, and that is 29 a month, a special offer currently. And Cineplay is a mobile um, video player for the iPad and the iPhone. And um, it has all sorts of features that are useful to professionals. Um, you can have draggable timecode overlays like so. Um, you can um, create safe areas, you can mask it, various aspect ratios, which is very useful when you're dealing with dailies. And then you can make notes, and once again, the notes appear uh, in the cloud, and other people are alerted to them instantly. Again on the App Store, available now? Yeah, and that is 9.99. 9.99. And that's for, um, that's for iPad and iPhone. Cut notes is iPad only. All right. OK, thank you very much, John, for spending time with us today. No NAB is brought to you by XEffect. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from iDustrialRevolution.com.